Morning, morning saddle hunters. Uh, my name is Rick and I'm going to show you what I made. I made a, uh, a platform out of an XOP stand that I bought commercially online. Um, some of the other things that I bought commercially online and everything I got online was some of this angle iron. Uh, for the XOP seat you're going to see different measurements. These are sand cast so in the casting they actually make them they're a little bit different on each side so you have to put washers in to make sure they fit right and they don't make any noise. You don't want a noisy stand. But anyway this is the aluminum square that I use, square tubing. It's 1 8 inch so it's a little heavier than some of the other stuff. It doesn't weigh much at all but it's a little stronger. Um, because of that when I, when I mounted my adjustment screw and the platform to this, I found that the aluminum would bend a little bit. I was concerned about that. So what I actually did was I cut a bolt off and fit it to the inside of this, if you can see. I cut it off and then wedged it in, JB welded everything, right below where this should sit on it or rest on it when you're standing on it, that adjustment screw. And I have no movement at all. It's, not, it, it's perfect. It's working really, really nice. Um, I made my own cleats. Like everybody else, they started and I didn't like what I did. That didn't really come out very well. The commercial ones were okay, but they just didn't seem to work well in the stand. So I cut some out of one and a half inch aluminum channel. Um, and they work very well. They work very nice. The cleats themselves walk right into the tree. On the bottom side of this, you can see the, uh, this is where the Versa button will go when I close it. And this is how it rests when I have it open and I'm standing on the stand, okay? This is the adjustment screw. That's the way everything packs together. Very, very nice. Uh, the cleats, uh, cleats can get in the way, I guess, but if you put the cleats out when you're packing it in, really, really nice. Like I said, no noise. You can cam it down just like any other stand. You can lock it on with uh, the ratchet strap like this one here. Um, easy to make, guys. Just got to you know, stay with it, that's all. Uh, everything's out there commercially available for DIY guys. Uh, you can make it in your garage, in your workshop. It's not a big deal. I think these the retail somewhere around $65 for, this, for the uh, seat. The rest of the stuff, I think I spent 20 bucks. Everything else was sourced from something else, something that I had. So, um, that's about it. I hope you like it. I hope this helps you out in your, your endeavor to build one. And, and please try and build one, because you know what? It's nothing like having something you made yourself. You know what it's made out of. It's going to work. You're going to be happier with it. Uh, just go for it. Rick Moffat, you have a great day.